With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is at what angle must the two forces which are having magnitudes x plus y and x plus y x minus y acts so that their resultant is equals to root over x square plus y square. Now we know that resultant of two vectors is denoted by the expression a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. Okay, where a and b are magnitudes of both the vectors. Now in this case the magnitudes are x plus y and x minus y. Let's say this is a, this is b and this one is the resultant. So this is r. Now if I put these respective values in this expression then I will be getting root x square plus y square and that should be equals to root over okay that's a very long expression this will be x plus y whole square plus x minus y whole square plus 2 times of x plus y x minus y which can be written as 2 times of x square minus y square into cos theta now from here we have to find out the value of theta now if I square both sides then I will be getting x square plus y square on left hand side and on right hand side on expanding this particular I will be getting x square plus y square plus 2xy okay again if I expand this particular then I will be getting x square plus y square minus 2xy okay and and this is as it is which is 2x square minus y square times of cos theta now again this x square plus y square will cancel out with this x square plus y square and further this 2xy will cancel out with this minus 2xy so I will left with 0 equals to x square plus y square plus 2 times of x square minus y square into cos theta so from here I will be getting cos theta as minus times of x square plus y square divided by 2 times of x square minus y square okay so this is our theta so this is our cos theta so from here theta will be theta will be cos inverse cos inverse minus 1 by 2 into x square plus y square divided by x square minus y square so this will be the required angle so from these option uh, the first option is correct which is matching with our answer so this option is correct and rest all options are incorrect i hope you understood thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today